I'm out and about for a spin. I'm scouting. I've been uh, I've been two places around here. I didn't like it. I'm bound for the cave. Low tide, one hour. The question is, which way to go? I see a looter right there. I know who that is. That's a real guru. Stand by. Port from Beaver. Damn, look at this, will you? Look at this. Will you believe that? I ain't seen that in a long time. Three damn steps. Guru's been up here too, digging. Look at him. Look at that. Can you believe it? Now, how long has that been since we've seen that? I think there's one more step right there. I can't remember for sure. But this is a. Uh, that's why the guru's over here too, I guarantee it. He's been plundering and I've been sleeping. No sharpening. Anyway, Beaver's, uh, he hunted yesterday and didn't find any yellow tickets, but he found a Celtic ring, I think, and some other stuff. He's gonna meet up with another guy today and I can't remember who that is. But I'll give you the report in a little while. Some of that sand came down here and covered up some of these rocks. I can see some out there. I got a nice hit right here. 12, 14. It's a little iffy. Stand by. A nickel. A nickel. I don't know what year it is. That's the first good sound anyway. Stand by. Another nickel. Sounds like it's another nickel in the hole, or it's a low sound like a nickel. Right next to that rock right there, you see it? See that hole I got right there? Where my where my coil is? Stand by. Another nickel, see it right there? Next to that white rock shell, I should say. Come out of there, Tequita. Look at that one. Three feet apart, six, four, three nickels. I like it. Look at that little baby conch shell. Can you see it? I don't know where the camera is. Hold on there. Look at that little baby. There's a loud sound in the same hole, like a coin, like, like a quarter or something. That's solid too, boy. Whew. 1243. Still in there. Stand by. One bigger dime, same hole. Dark on one side, shiny on the other. Clad. Now it sounds like there's another nickel in that hole. Damn 22, look at that. That little sucker in there. Piece of copper wire in that hole. I like it. Now that's a nice one. Look at that. Nobody home either. I might have to carry that home. To dear Dottie. 12, 12, solid. I don't see no 12, 12s. I think I see it. No, that's not it. Stand by a minute. Still in the hole, now it's changed to 12.05. Got two scoops off of it so far. This third scoop. Still don't have it. Sound like multiple targets again here. I don't know. Says we got it this time. See anything exciting? Oh yeah, I do. Damn 22. You little sucker, you. Look at that thing. Let's see if there's anything else in there. Oh, 
I guess that was it. Put in, I got a hole right up there close to the cave. It had yeah. two nickels, a dime, and That's a where I got wire, that and bracelet. all kinds of stuff. Right up against that corner. Yeah. Uh, There's a big piece of copper pipe up there. And a, got a earring. Oh, yeah. Maybe silver. Well, there it is. That's it. Yeah, old one. Yeah. yeah. Doesn't have the name on it. Smooth. I'm about to have heat stroking yeah, this daggone thing. Bad. I like it. Too warm for this suit. Yeah, it I guess is. I'm going to go up to my neck and stay. <laughs> oh my God. Ring in a scoop. I think it's a little fit all ring. From old, old fit all. You see it? Fit all. It's a choppy 1109. I don't know what this will operate, if anything. Sounds like it's filling the hole behind it. Look at that. Ain't no way you'll ever find it. Now I gotta dump that out. Go through that. Yeah, I think it's still back here. I just don't like it. It don't sound too good. But it's solid, but it's just... Whatever it is, I think we got it that time. Oh yeah, I see it right there. Like hell I did. We'll dump this out too. I dug a couple quarters here. I got like three quarters after I found that ring. I'm headed back that way now. Stand by. We got a little ticket over here of some kind. 1339. Stand by. I didn't get a chance to tell you much, but that fellow that had dinner with us the other night, Patrick O'Connor, O'Connell, if any of y'all looked him up, you know more about him than you already knew. He's quite some gentleman. He's uh, 76 years old. He's a fisherman, gold, gold uh, panner in Costa Rica. Originally, been there 50 years, I think. He's, uh, he's gone now, he's gone to Florida to a hospital, a, a, a specialized uh, spot. He got bit by a uh, fertile lance. It's a big nasty viper snake down there. I think he got bit four or five years ago. He stepped on a whole nest of them. And he's had some complications since then. Apparently they're really, really bad, what I read about them. But he's going to—he's going down there for a few days and get checked out on his foot. He got bit between the toes. But he's a cool dude, I can tell you that. I met some cool dudes in my life, but he might right be at the top right there. He showed us some snake fangs that were three or four inches long. That a snake couldn't bite you. His fangs were so long he couldn't bite you. He had to open his mouth up and, and shoot at you like a, like a spear and get you. Crocodile teeth. He used to rouse the crocodiles. Paddles 20 and 30 miles a day in a kayak. Man, what a guy. Stand by. I got a target right here. I mean, a solid 1247. I bet that's 25 meters in. You can see all the copper, all the rust that came out of the water. But I don't think it's a 1247 anymore. Might be a big piece of iron. Oh my God, I got addicted to that. Not, not in that pile. It's right here and it's nulling out now. Stand by. When you get that rusty water, you know you're in trouble. 
not always, but most of the time. Look, look at that. <laughs> I know this is a nice ticket when I get to it. That is if I ever get to it. Come out of there, rust bucket. Oh, I like it. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a fine ticket right here. I think I'm going to give up on it. It's big now. It's got, got to be a foot wide. Jeez, this is it. Stand by a minute. There it is. I don't know what it is, but there it is. Looks like it's a piece of a clock. Look at that. You see all them gears and things in there? They're going to fall out. I'll stick, I'll stick them in my pouch. Sounds like there's more stuff in the hole. That guy, Patrick, he was staying with my buddy, my fishing buddy, George, you know. George said, uh, George met him in Costa Rica fishing uh, a couple years ago. I think his son, Patrick's son, has a, or one of his sons has a fishing boat, charter boat. And he told me where he lived, but I can't remember what the name of it was. He said, he, I think he told me he's from Indiana originally. And him and George, they go to Cuba sometimes when they're down there. When George comes down, he can fly from Costa Rica to Cuba. So he really likes Cuba and the Cuban people. He was a cool guy. He's got three or four books written on him. Gold Walker. You just Google Gold Walker. You can find out a lot of stuff about him. It was nice meeting him. I'm almost back to the cave now. I must take a spin or two along that edge, and then I might head out of here. Stand by. The end. Okay, wound up. Junker. Four nickels and two dimes and three quarters and two twenty twos. And some gears. The gear man. <laughs> It'd be nice to know what that is. Or was. A barometer, a clock, or some damn thing. He's in rough condition today, though. Big old knobby shell whelk. You see the knobs on it? That's why it's a knobby shell whelk instead of a smooth shell. Okay. See you tomorrow. Mumbles man. He was hum he was hunting during the day. He said he'd probably be able to go tomorrow with no problem. We're going someplace else tomorrow though. I think. I'll get back to you. Good luck to everybody. We'll see you. Oh, baby conk. That's probably a snail. Looks like a conk does on it. Okay. Well, we got a storm coming. It's been coming all day. Severe storm of sorts. Hey, so when I got through with the, uh, hey, dog, the roundup, I figured I'd better come cut the grass.
I covered that hole up completely, put some bricks in the bottom of it. She started digging. <laughs> I had to pull all these pavers up for Chris. I really disturbed a lot of ants. Those three spots right there had so many ants in them, I couldn't believe it. That wild Indian. Are you wild? Yeah, you wild. She chases poor Jack, bites his feet. But don't you, Jack? God, what an Indian. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> Attack mode. You're bad. I got all the edging done. Got all the grass in the front. My honeydew list is complete. Back to the cave tomorrow, maybe. I think I told you that already. Old Summers gets me sometimes. Stand by, I'll give you a beaver report now. Beaver says California hunts the last couple of days. No story for now. I'll post the whole week at once. I return to hoping to add some yellow to this haul. You ran into Alex Pro Cali, and they are linking up tomorrow at the same location. He found a Celtic ring today, or yesterday I guess it was now. Uh, two war nickels, a 43 and a 45, and some Un undated Wheaties. That's a Celtic ring. Ain't too bad. That's a bet. There's a beat and a cut. See them rocks? That's it. I'm here. Stand by for more.